Hello and welcome to another brand new video on Droip. In this video, we will explore the right panel of our Droip editor. You can also label it as the style panel. As you can see, it has a series of options to give life to your projects. So, let's check out how. So, in our style panel, first we have the class manager. In Droip, we have a bunch of default classes that hold preset styles. You can also create custom classes and subclasses that will work as a blueprint for your unique objects, structures, and styles. You might have noticed that we already have a class named Custom Class 1, which holds the style for the main section. Expanding the class manager, we can see there is the option to assign selectors for different displays. Also, you can choose states and give a transition to your selector. And we have a list of pseudo classes as well. Next, we have the typography option. You can view and choose all your installed fonts from here. Also, you can add more fonts from the cloud with this add font option. Scale your text smoothly, dragging this way, or you might just type the preference value. There are a lot of options here to manipulate your texts. Also, Droip has an advanced font editor. Don't forget to try that out. After that, we have the structure option. You can lock the display and change the margins and padding altogether, or just unlock it and make changes to an individual side like this. As you can see, you also have display options to choose, from block to grid for your elements. You can also adjust the two-dimensional height and width for your elements with the size option. Also, there is flexibility to clip content and fit them with this list of options. For visually attractive backgrounds, simply click background to explore the options. You can add solid backgrounds, linear, radial, and conic gradients, and images as background. Let's see how we can make changes. You can easily select any color from this palette and choose color models of preference. There's a list of options to add effects in the background as well. Also, let's have a look here where we have options to clip backgrounds. In the stroke option, you can add colored borders and set the radius to it. Let's add a border of 6 pixels and change its radius to 20 pixels. Also, there is option to change the radius for individual sides and you can see the difference. You will notice there are some preset styles for the borders and outlines as well. There is this setup in the upper right corner of every option where you can reset the styles if you messed up. Or you can enable or disable styles to better visualize the changes you made. Also, do notice whenever you're making changes to the styles, there is this tiny dot on the left of the options, which makes the process easier to comprehend and track where to alter if necessary. Next, we have options to add shadows to elements. You can add your custom shadows or explore the preset options. We can add effects on elements, cursor, and even the backdrop as well. From changing opacity to giving multiple effects, we have a bunch of options here. Another vital feature is to give position to the elements. From static to sticky, we can do better placement for our elements. As you can see, we also have handy options to make proper adjustments with different positioning choices. We are almost there to the end, and here comes the most creative ones. The transform option gives you a floor to model your elements, be that scaling, rotating, and many more. Also, you can change the reference frame by transforming the origin. You can enable the 3D transform to get something more exciting. In the transition option, you can change states to some of your classes and visualize the changes on your elements. At the same time, you can add your custom transitions. Interaction gives you a floor to make relevant actions on conditions. You can easily select on what you want to make changes, when the change will appear, and how the action will be activated. Another interesting part is, you can add custom interactions to make your content more interactive. And with that, we have explored all the options. See you in the next video with some more exciting features.